Ah, thank you. Fucking finally. Thank you, guys. I'll tell you what, I think he speaks some sense on this issue. Hey there folks, welcome to this video and here I'm talking about the news that Kimi Raikkonen is retiring from Formula 1 at the end of the 2021 season. The Iceman, as he has <laughs> been lovingly known by the fans over his 20 year career, and it's about 21 years if, if we're including the fact that he started back in 2001. The 2007 champion has been a fan favourite for, for a long, long while. After taking a break at the end of 2009, taking a couple of seasons out, he came back in 2012 and he competed with Lotus, went back to Ferrari and has ended his career with Alfa Romeo, the the, the Sauber team as it once was that he uh, started his career with. And the thing is, for quite a long time he was a top caliber driver. 2003 he could have won the title, 2005 he could have won the title, 2007 he did win the title. At the same time, I think since he came back into F1 he had some good phases in 2012-2013. That Lotus team was brilliant and you could see with Roman Grosjean as well they were just... if they'd had more resources behind them they would have been able to fight for more wins and maybe even a championship. But... What else can I say? Like, he returned to Ferrari, but at that point he just didn't seem to have the same kind of character when the Turbo Hybrid era came in. And when the new uh, rules came in for Aeros for 2017, it just didn't click for him either. He's spent the last couple of years working to help develop the Alfa Romeo team and help build it up. That's what he was saying um, for his hobby. And... At the end of the day, I hope that he sticks around with them for a bit, you know? If he's hanging up his boots, he can still work with the team. He can still work in F1 or he can just go off, retire and enjoy the rest of his life. I honestly don't know what he's going to do after that, but... I was surprised. The rumour was he was going to announce it next week before Monza in front of the Tifosi. Like Michael Schumacher had done when he first announced his retirement back in... 2006. I think that would have been a bit more poetic, to be honest. But now the question is, what happens next? Rumours are it will be a complete and total lineup swap with the likes of Nick de Vries and Valtteri Bottas. I don't know if I believe that, but could well be. But let me know your thoughts, because I really don't know what to think. I would have thought if there was going to be that kind of overhaul, that would happen at Williams. Unless Wolf's kind of working as an agent means that he works outside of Mercedes now. A lot more. I guess he kind of did with Ocon. So... I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, because... I don't know what's going to happen next. The silly season has properly got itself underway now. And could we see another team with... Well, this will be the first team that has an all-new lineup for 2022. Not all rookie, but all new. Much like Haas has done this season. But with two rookies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.